Hi, everybody. Hi, Jules. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Today, we're going to be learning how to make something really cool. And today, we're going to be learning how to make trim using paper. You can use this in journals. You can use this in, you can also use fabric to make these, too. You can mix between fabric and paper. But you can do awesome stuff with this stuff, and it is so incredibly easy. So I'm going to show you how to make this out of your scrapped paper. So I know everybody's got a box of paper that, did, that they just don't know what to do with other than making like scrap bags. Well, I happened across a YouTuber, I cannot remember the life of me, her name, but I've seen this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just found a really cool way to use up scraps that I don't have any clue what to do with this. It's like scrap tags or little bits and pieces of the uh, material in my paper box. So, I am going to show you how to make this. So, I'm going to put you guys down to the desk and you all will see how we do this. Please excuse the mess. Alright, you're going to need a sewing machine. I have a Brother uh, Series GX37. Really simple, easy. Now, if you have a piece that goes right here, you know, the extending, take it off because you're, it's just going to get in the way. All right, so I have a lot of scrap material sitting here, but I have what I'm, what I'm going to use for this tutorial sitting on the opposite side. And what you're going to need, I'm going to set this off to the side because you already know this is scrap material and paper and stuff from a scrap box. So, what we are going to do, I'm going to show you. I've already got my little strips stripped up. So these were bigger pieces. Now, for the base, you are, you are going to want at least a piece of uh, scrap paper about an inch, inch wide. Basically about the size of your tip of your thumb to the first joint. That's how you can tell if it's an inch or two inches. Each inch is a knuckle. So that's how I tell how big a piece I have. So I have about an inch piece of, of, uh, of scrap paper here. And it doesn't matter how many you use. I've just got two different kinds here, but I'm using old book page uh, music hymns for my my top. Now the other one that I used, I used just old book paper, you know, um, from a, a couple pages out of a book and just stripped it up real tight. Now, for the pieces that go on top of this, you're going to want to have at least about a half an inch. I know that's about an inch, but we're going to we're going to work with it. But you're going to want about a half an inch strip. It really doesn't matter the size. I'm just giving you a ballpark of what you can use for this. So, what we're going to do to start this, pay attention, ladies. This is so easy. You can even do this hand stitching, but it probably take a little bit longer. I didn't see anybody doing it hand stitch, and I've always seen people using the function. So, I have chosen a real pretty uh, purple color to do this. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick a strip up, and we're going to lay it on top, like this. And so, you'll see a strip outside and inside. Any of my sewers out there know what I'm doing. You already know how to do this. What we're going to do is we are going to fold it. When we get it in the sewing machine, we're going to fold it. Just watch. All right, let's see if I can get it turned around. Let me zoom in for you. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. That's as close as I can get her. All right, now. What you're going to do is you're going to put it under your sewing, under your sewing thing. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to start with your single, just straight stitch. You're going to put it under. And what we're going to do is we're going to line it up. And put our foot down. And we are going to sew a couple of straight stitches. And then we are going to move it to a zigzag. But you can keep it on straight, but that's up to you. 
All right, we're going to sew a few stitches. Shucks. Hey, y'all are getting to see a blooper. My thread came out of my, my needle here. So we are going to re-thread it and then we'll get back to business. Very easy. Watch it get me travel now that I've turned the camera around. I didn't have a good thread. All right. Now, let's try this again, ladies. Alright, now, back to business. What we're going to do is we're going to sew a couple of stitches straight, and then I'm going to use the go back button and then come back forward, which basically locks your stitching. Now, we are going to switch it to zigzag stitch. Now, you're going to take your piece and you're going to fold it up and under the pressure foot. Like this. If I get you any closer, I'm going to have the rumble. Turn the light off, it turns the sun off. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take that piece and you're going to fold it up and under your pressure foot. Okay? That way, your your piece, your white piece, your foot page is going to be in the sun. Alright, and you're going to sew just a couple of stitches. Doesn't matter how far you go to make your next fold, but you're going to want to fold it again, which makes the next pleat. Again, and you see you'll notice we are running out of paper here. I'll show you an easy, quick, and easy trick to add paper seamlessly. Now. Before you run out of the back of the smaller piece, you're going to want to add a piece in. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to tuck that up and underneath that piece that you're working with now, so then you'll have another piece. You're going to fold it. So what that's basically doing is, is it's stitching that piece of paper. We're running out of the, the color piece. Alright, now we have folded that. Now we're going to take another piece of that color, or you can alternate your colors, which I'm going to alternate in for a stop piece. And you're going to put it underneath that fold that you just folded up underneath. And we are going to connect. Running out of the short of the center piece, so we're going to move back to another piece. Again, put it up under, underneath. I think I'm going to hand that down just a scotch. Doesn't matter if it's too uh, big or not. It's really up to me. Now we're going to fold that again up underneath the pressure foot. Attaches that piece again. That was wonderful. Okay. 
patties. This is addicting because if you have extra pieces of paper laying around like this, you'll want to attach these things and use them up. Okay, we're running out of both. That might be a little bit of a problem, but I'm going to stop it here and show you guys how this works. And so the last stitch you want to fold. So now you want a back stitch to walk that stitch in. So now we have our trim. Kind of cool, and you can ink the edges, put it in your scrapbook, your journals. Look how cool that is! And you can use any type of paper to do this. Alrighty, guys, thank you guys for coming in and watching me do this and learning how to do this. Uh, hopefully, I inspired you to get out there and use your sewing machine if you have one. You can use it also hand stitch this. Um, Hopefully, I get it. I, I, you get out there and get in, get in with, in, in with your sewing machine real nice and get it, dig into your scrap box because you know you have a bunch of this paper that you don't know what to do with, especially when you, you're doing a journey like me. <laughs> so, get out there and uh, create something with this. Put it on as a border on your journals, your scrapbooks, send it out in Happy Mail, cut a piece off, put it on a tag. The sky's the limit, guys. So, anyway. Thank you guys for coming in and visiting with me and learning how to do this. I love you all, and I'm going to leave you with a little bit of food for thought. It says, I choose to make the rest of my life the best of my life. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all, and I will see you guys on my next podcast.